Hello friends, in today's documentary, will we talk about the Bermuda Triangle, a new theory about mysterious disappearances or aliens involved. How much has not been said and written about the Bermuda Triangle, the place where ships and planes mysteriously disappeared? There is no scientific explanation yet. Although several theories have been launched, there is more evidence than evidence. There are many mysteries in the world. For example, what happens when we die? Are they real aliens? Or what is really going on in the Bermuda Triangle? Why are so many people missing? While there are now myth shows that aim to prove whether the myths are real or not, people are still curious. Something that always caught my interest was the fear that people have of the Bermuda Triangle. Due to the many planes and ships that have just suddenly disappeared, there is an aura that surrounds it. For decades, the legendary Bermuda Triangle in the Atlantic Ocean has captured the human imagination. There is a lot of evidence of unexplained disappearances of ships, planes and people. Some said the aliens were responsible, others said there was Atlantis, the missing continent. A new theory suggests that the crystal pyramid in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle has reappeared. The Bermuda Triangle, theories about mysterious disappearances. The Bermuda Triangle or Devil's Triangle is an approximately triangular area in shape. The three sides are located in Bermuda, Puerto Rico and Fort Lauderdale, Florida, United States. Here it is assumed that there are mysterious forces that attract ships, planes and people who dare to enter this area. It is a large area of 1.2 square kilometers. In vain did the coastal police say that the number of incidents of this kind is the same as in any other frequently circulated area of the world. There are too many theories on the other side of paranormal forces. Some speculate that unknown and mysterious forces are responsible for the unexplained disappearances. Such as aliens capturing humans for study. Others say it is the influence of the lost continent of Atlantis or whirlpools that suck objects into other dimensions. Some explanations are based more on scientific theories, not evidence. These include ocean flatulence, methane gas erupting from ocean sediments, and disturbances of geomagnetic flow lines. Environmental considerations could explain many, if not most, of the disappearances. Most tropical storms and hurricanes in the Atlantic pass through the Bermuda Triangle. And in the days leading up to the improved weather forecast, these dangerous storms claimed many ships. Gulf Stream can also cause rapid, sometimes violent, weather changes. The large number of islands in the Caribbean creates many shallow water areas that can be treacherous for ship navigation. Researchers have not found an explanation after several ships and aircraft mysteriously disappeared and never returned. The Devil's Triangle has been blamed for the disappearance of thousands in recent decades. Specialists and people who have heard of these disappearances have started looking for explanations. Many people said it was a hole in the center of the earth, others that it was aliens or that there were paranormal activities. Find out three shocking things about the Bermuda Triangle. 1. Mary Celeste. The story of this ship is one of the most mysterious so far. It was drifting elsewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. The ship was found intact on December 4, 1872, without a single scratch. But its crew has not been found to this day. Studies have ruled out the possibility of a pirate attack, because the whole ship was perfect, just like on departure. Following the disappearance, several legends emerged that it was a criminal hand, an alien abduction or the attack of a huge squid. 2. Ellen Austin. It is a disturbing mystery triangle associated with the American white oak schooner Ellen Austin. In 1881, Ellen Austin, 210 feet long, was on her way to New York from London. But things changed when she came across an abandoned ship near the Bermuda Triangle. The ship was in good condition, but the crew was completely missing. People saw the ship floating without a destination several times, but no one was on board. The disappearance and reappearance of the ship, as well as the absence of the crew is a very attractive story for most. Researchers say it is a mystery of the Bermuda Triangle without even a concrete explanation. 
3. Witchcraft. On December 22, 1967, a cabin cruise ship called the Witchcraft set sail from Miami with its captain Dan Burrick and his friend Father Patrick Horgan. Their walk was aimed at admiring the Christmas lights in Miami. Just minutes after departure, the ship's captain said, the cruiser hit something, but it showed no signs of blows. The Coast Guard set out to check the ship, but it disappeared completely and was not found until 2021. A portal of space and time. Einstein admitted that space and time combine to form a single entity, which actually acts and reacts like a structure suspended at the ends. Black holes are just breaks in the space-time entity. What is on the other side? Nobody knows. A rupture in a continuous space-time structure is not necessarily a black hole. Many have called this a wormhole. Although a mathematical formulation of the wormhole has not yet been given, it is possible that it exists in the Bermuda Triangle. Here, the wormhole could instantly transport anything that enters the region and take it to another place in the universe. Testimonies over the years, the people who disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle have been happening for centuries. It began with Christopher Columbus and his journey to the New World. They claimed to have seen a fire hitting the sea. There could be many explanations for what the fire was, but when associated with other people, coincidences are hard to ignore. The Bermuda Triangle did not gain its reputation until the mid-1900s. Then there was an increase in missing ships, planes and people. Let's take a few examples. Missing planes. The first plane ever disappeared by this I mean the first missing plane in the Bermuda Triangle. Also, it was not a single plane, but a couple, they were part of a squadron. On the afternoon of December 5, 1945, the U.S. Navy had a three-hour flight training session departing from Florida, also known as Flight 19. It was a flight the captain had made before. But in the second hour I something happened to the compass, followed by other problems on the plane. The other planes also reported similar problems. They took off shortly after 2. 7 that day and until 30 to 13 that night another flight, the 19-man sailor went out to look. The sailor followed flight XNUMX and was never heard from again. It was a great search group for both flights and ocean searching. None of them were ever found. Although in 1991, planes were found in the ocean that were mistaken for the squadron. This was later shown to be the case. There are many explanations for what happened to these two flights. But because there are other reports of this happening in this area, it makes this debatable and a mystery. GAHNP Star Tiger there was a crew and passengers on board. Different from Flight 19, Star Tiger had excellent communication with radio towers throughout the flight. Nothing seemed strange in the Star Tiger crew's messages. The crew did not report anything wrong and the tone of their voices sounded normal. The pilot requested a bearing which was refused. They acknowledged the messages received from the radio tower after the second time they received it and it was the last one from which it was heard. Radio messages to Star Tiger kept coming in to try to contact him, but all failed. Excellent weather report for the flight. The pilot had experience in flight and there were no problems with the plane. The inspection had passed, there is no reasonable explanation for why he suddenly disappeared. But Star Tiger darkened on January 30, 1948, and the 31 people on board, the passengers and crew, mysteriously disappeared. Mitsubishi Mu-2B-40. The last reported disappearance in the Bermuda Triangle took place in 2017. So, this was not just a problem in the past. But very recently people are still the victim of this curse in the Bermuda Triangle. In May 2017, the plane was flying from Puerto Rico to Florida, where they were to cross the Bermuda Triangle. It was a small plane with only four passengers, including a CEO from New York, her two children and her boyfriend were flying in the plane. Three hours after the flight contact, it was lost. Similar to others, three hours after the flight, they were also 30 minutes away from landing. The weather that day seemed less favorable. There were storms that are not ideal for flight and can explain what happened to the aircraft. 
Unlike the other previous examples, it has an ending. Pieces were found a few days after his disappearance. Even though their bodies are still missing along with the plane, the pieces that came to the surface come from the wreck. Missing ships. USS Cyclops. The thing not only mysteriously disappears over the Bermuda Triangle, but disappears into it as well. There were several ships that disappeared. The USS Cyclops was a naval ship, the largest naval ship with a length of 550 meters. In March 1918, there were troops and cargo on board traveling to Barbados and ending in Baltimore. It was a nine-day trip, until it was no longer a nine-day trip. The last message on the ship was weather fair, all well. If so, then what happened? There was no SOS signal and no trace left. Even a century later, not much is known about what happened. 309 people disappeared from that trip. Given that this was the beginning of the Bermuda Triangle myth, the strange disappearance contributed to the further creation of the narrative. Right now, instead of planes disappearing, very large ships are also able to disappear without a trace. 10 Theories That Explain the Mystery of the Bermuda Triangle 1. Violent Storms This is one of the most practical theories that explains the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. The Atlantic Ocean is famous for its storms, hurricanes and extremely violent weather. Storms and hurricanes can cause waves of more than 20 meters, adding the strong current of the Gulf. Then you have the image of what can happen here. An even greater danger lies in the depths of the ocean, the region being one of the deepest in the Atlantic. 2. An American military base. Just as there is Area 51, the U.S. Air Force Base, where secret military tests are conducted, so is the U.S. Navy base in the Andros Islands in the Bahamas. Some believe that this is more than just a weapons testing unit and that this is where the U.S. government has built equipment to communicate with aliens. 3. Extraterrestrial Activity This theory blames the disappearance of ships and planes on extraterrestrial activity in the region. It is said that everything happens due to aliens or beings from other planets. It is also said that there are extraterrestrial aircraft that travel in the area often and sometimes aliens move between our planet and their world. 4. Human Errors Considered the number one reason for the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle, this theory states that everything happened in the area due to human error. The region around the Bermuda Triangle consists of a series of islands, similar to each other. For this reason, it is difficult to find the way. In addition, bad weather and storms are risk factors. In such a scenario, ships or planes, once lost, are very difficult to find their way back. 5. Time Travel This theory is one of the most popular. Despite the fact that there is no evidence to that effect, she claims that the disappearances are caused by time travel. In other words, whenever a disappearance occurs in the Bermuda Triangle, the ship or aircraft without a trace returns in time or at some point travels to the future. There are people who have reported seeing a huge cloud like a tunnel in the region and they believe it is a vortex of time travel. 6. Atlantis. This theory is supported by some people who believe that the lost city of Atlantis is somewhere near the Bahamas. Legend has it that this city was powered by energy produced by powerful crystals. The effect of the remains of these crystals would cause the deviation of the radio signals of the aircraft. 7. Methane gas. According to this concept, methane gas bubbles rising to the surface cause a decrease in water density. For this reason, ships could no longer stay afloat and sink without a trace. The wrecks of the ships could go to the bottom of the ocean, but they could be carried by strong currents in the Gulf. If this is true, there is no source of methane gas in the area. 8. The effect of the collapse of a comet. The first theory that was discussed about the Bermuda Triangle was about the collapse of a comet on Earth, a few thousand years ago, somewhere nearby. Those who believe in this hypothesis believe that somewhere in the depths of the ocean are the remains of the comet and its electromagnetic fields are the causes of the disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle. There are no signs of a comet collapsing in the area, and in the absence of evidence, this theory remains only an assumption. 
9. A strong magnetic field. The theory is that the main cause behind the mysterious disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle is the Earth's magnetic field, especially in this region. It has been frequently observed that those compasses deviate near the Bermuda Triangle and the navigation equipment no longer works properly. 10. The pirate attack. Although this hypothesis should not be completely ruled out, it cannot explain the reason for the disappearance of the aircraft. The reason why so many ships are disappearing in the area would be pirate attacks, which are particularly active in this region of the Atlantic. What is the Bermuda Triangle really? There is no argument, the Bermuda Triangle has strange stories in which people have disappeared. Many theories have been made on many blogs, Reddit threads and even just personal opinions. But what is the truth? The truth is hard to find. Maybe it was just storms, but if that was the case, why aren't there more transcripts of captains reporting a storm? In some cases, I believe that some ships and planes were victims of storms, such as El Faro. Although at the time of Flight 19, that leaves me speechless. It is really shocking. There was no panic or suffering in the pilots' voices. There have been reports of confusion and disorientation. In the BuzzFeed episode, they mention how it could have been a compass that didn't work, which led to their fall. But rest assured that we may never know the answer. It's nice to think that maybe it could be a black hole where people are taken to live in the lost city of Atlantis. But the realist in me knows better. I hope that those who have lost people, have understood that people are interested in their stories. All I know is that I will not be sailing from Florida to Bermuda anytime soon. I mean, it's better safe than bad. If you like the documentary, don't forget to leave a comment and a subscribe. Next time.